that mega rally overnight, providing the president a perfect opportunity to punctuate the point made by his national security team just hours earlier, using his presidential megaphone to denounce new Russian attacks against U.S. elections. But on stage, just three months out from the midterms, he didn't say a word about the threat and again dismissed the Russia investigation as a hoax. President Trump in Pennsylvania overnight, once again trashing the special counsel's investigation. Now we're being hindered by the Russian hoax. The difference this time, his comments coming just hours after his own national security and intelligence team sounded the alarm about Russia's efforts to interfere in the upcoming elections. We acknowledge the threat. It is real. It is continuing. And we're doing everything we can to have a legitimate election that the American people can have trust in. Our democracy itself is in the crosshairs. Russia attempted to interfere with the last election and continues to engage in malign influence operations to this day. The officials insisting their orders came from the top. The president has specifically directed us to make the matter of the election meddling and securing our election process a top priority. That behind the scenes direction about Russia and the election coming ahead of the president's very public display in Pennsylvania about the Russian investigation. It's just a hoax, okay? And while White House officials offered few specifics, the scope of this foreign influence threat is both broad and deep. It's the first time they've come together to publicly address the threat and their response. Top Democrat Senator Mark Warner tweeting, glad to see the White House finally do something about election security. Now, if only it was actually backed up by anything the president has said or done on Russia. Just two weeks ago at the Helsinki summit, Mr. Trump downplayed Russian election meddling, appearing to side with Vladimir Putin over his own intelligence team. I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. The director of national intelligence admitting he's still in the dark about what happened in that private meeting between the president and Putin. I'm not in a position to either understand fully or uh, talk about what happened at Helsinki. Overnight, Mr. Later, Trump still defending his performance that, with Putin. You know, they wanted me to walk up. Here's a podium here. They wanted me to walk up and go like this. <laughs> they wanted me to go up and have a boxing match. I said, whatever happened to diplomacy? So, Peter, you're at the White House. You covered every day. What's going on there? Because this was this extraordinary mm -hmm. show of strength from the administration. All of the national security cabinet members and officials there saying, hey, this Russia threat, it's real. That's what they said. And then the president says something to his supporters totally different. Yes, Vanna, that's right. We've never seen a lineup like the one we saw here yesterday. I was right there in the front row for it. A White House advisor telling me the president instructed those officials to go been. out there to tell the American people what they're doing to defend U.S. elections. But it does. It raises this question why he hasn't said all this himself. I think at times it really feels like there are two governments working independent of each other right now. The intelligence teams, as we saw, raising red flags, trying to crack down on Russian interference. And then the president repeatedly publicly undermining their efforts. Those close to Mr. Trump tell me that he can't separate his fury about the investigation into possible links between Russian officials and his campaign from what remains undisputed. The fact that Russia attacked the U.S. elections in 2016 and the fact that it appears to be trying to do it again. Savannah? All right, Peter, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.